Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Bowman's Best Baseball 8 box. Pick your team number 20 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. Phil with the triple last spot mojo. No Oakland A's autographs. If we happen to get any A's numbered cards, we'll randomize them as one lot at the end of the break. This has come and gone. We've done this already. Let's see, February 5th. All right, there's 2468 right there. Good luck, everybody. No, it's okay. I mean, we can sell out four before three if you want to. Not a big deal. Let's just fill something. Either that one box choice or that flawless football. Otherwise, everything else we'll do tomorrow. We got Nico Herner to 150. That's for the Cubs. Nice start for Kaz. There's Eugenio Suarez. Carter Keyboom die cut. Sometimes those die cuts can be autographed, which are pretty cool. It's Travis Swaggerty. That is, I thought that was numbered. Maybe just Atomic. There you go. And Matt Walner autograph for the Twins. That'll be for Phil and the Twins. Just throwing autographs around. Sorry about that, Phillies. Apologies to Bryson Stott. He's okay, though. That'll be for the Phillies. That's going to be for Matthew. Brand, uh, Nate Lowe, not Brandon Lau, Nate Lowe, Pete Alonzo. So we'll save some of those rookie Pete Alonzos as well. That'll be for Richard. And we've got a nice Joey Bart franchise favorites autograph out of 50 for my rivals, the Giants. That's going to go to Chris Walker. Future Buster Posey, maybe? There's a Brandon Lau, die cut, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Senzel. So a lot, lot of, lot of good rookies popping here.
I think we're gonna keep those on the on the personal website for now, Jay. I don't think we're gonna do group breaks for that. I think they work better personal box wise. Corbin Carroll. Diamondbacks for AP for Arthur. Die cut, Shervin Newton. Die cut, and we got Will Wilson for the Angels. That'll be for Ryan. I think he got traded over the summer, though, or over the winter. And Owen Miller is your autograph for the Padres. Chris Walker with the Friars. Is Eloy him and his die cut? Dean Kramer, 13 out of 99. Love all these on-card autographs here too. Ryan with the O's. Chris Davis, purple to uh, 250. All right, next box. Thanks, Burger King. So I do that check. Sometimes a pack sticks in there. Ryan O'Hearn, rookie auto for the Royals. Josh Exline with Kansas City. We got Future Foundations die cut. El Harris Montero. We got Debbie Garcia for the Yankees. Caleb got the Yankees straight up. Nice. There was Natalie Rushman in there. There's another one right here. It's pretty good. Those will ship. I think everything ships in this. There you go. More Adley Rushmans. Could be a bit of a catching... Uh... Ooh, nice Wander Franco right here. Joey Bard and Adley Rushman could be a bit of a... A catching revival in baseball. Matthew with the Rays gets the Wander Franco. Nice. John Means. Casey Mize could be coming up soon in a year or so. And Matt Walner is your autograph here. Red Matt Walner. That's to 10. 3 out of 10 for Phil and the Twins. Last spot mojo. You know what, I think we ended up shipping everything in Bowman's Best because the Adley Rushman, at first glance, doesn't look like a rookie card. It doesn't have anything, but but he's not a veteran common per se. So, in fact... 
Made a little note right there. Well, I kind of make the rules. <laughs> I mean, it's hard. It's hard to tell in Bowman's best because because uh, like those prospect cards aren't numbered. That's the thing. But the rookies are rookies. I mean, obviously, all the rookie cards are gonna ship. But it gets a little tricky in Bowman's best. I don't know why that why they don't make the distinction, but. Next one is a rookie Tatis Jr. too. There's Shervin Newton autograph this time. He's got a complicated auto. It's like a dollar symbol in there too. I like that. Richard Zitterman and the Mets. There's some nice stuff here. Keston Hira, die cuts. And a Keston Hira autograph. Nice. Brew Crew. Robert Edwards. With the Brewers. Nice rookie auto. Keston Hira. Local kid. He went to, uh, he grew up around here. Or just north of us. North of LA. Near Magic Mountain, I think. Valencia. And then maybe nice CJ Abrams for the Padres. Nice. Oh, there's the number way up there. Top left, 35 out of 50. Padres, Chris Walker. I want to say Keston Hira is, is the first first-round pick out of UC Irvine. I think that's where he went. It always stuck in my head because I was like, UC Irvine? I don't think of the UC Irvine Anteaters as a, as a baseball powerhouse. There's John Duplantier, not like Fullerton. Cal State Fullerton or USC, UCLA. Those are baseball schools here in Southern California. UC Irvine, not. Not a baseball powerhouse. But they at least produced a Keston Hira. There was another school recently that had a in California that had a first round pick. It was UC Santa Barbara. Who was that pitcher that was that was like a top five or six pick that came out of Santa Barbara and that was UC Santa Barbara's first first round baseball pick in like history. I'm blanking on his name but I think he got drafted by the Rangers. And then just didn't pan out. I think he's on the Yankees now. But we pulled a lot of his stuff out of that year's Bowman's best too. But yeah, was was struggled in the in the minor leagues with the Rangers organization. Then I think eventually the Yankees took him, and he's somewhere on the in the Yankees minor league organization now. I mean, he could be a late bloomer, like like Lucas Giolito. But I don't think he was ever as highly touted as Lucas Giolito. Trying to think of the name. Anyway, Keston here worked out though. There's Bryson Stott Green this time, two out of ninety nine. That'll be for Matthew and the Phillies. Johnny Bench. 
See, that Wander Franco doesn't look too di any really any different from the Justin Verlander. Maybe the pictures are slightly different, but at a glance, it's hard to tell. It's easier to ship everything. You know, because the, the, the shipping team kind of goes by the team right there. They kind of go on autopilot. They're not looking closely at the uh, specific names. Unless it's like Kobe or LeBron, but... No, the... Well, Keston Hero went to UC Irvine. The player that I'm thinking of, the pitcher that was drafted in the first round out of... Uh, it was out of UC Santa Barbara, a gaucho. There's Luis Gill for the Yankees for Caleb. So, yeah, he went to Irvine. There's Jake Bowers, rookie autograph. You'll know the name, though, Ryan and Todd. Like, when you hear the name, you're like, oh, yeah, that guy. I remember that guy. There's Jake Bowers for Chris Hale and the Indians. There's Nolan Gorman. Is that a Vlad Guerrero Silver? Let's save one of those. UC Santa Barbara is the school. UC Santa Barbara, the home of the Gauchos. I think they're the Gauchos. Zach Thompson, Cardinals, the X line. Boom, Dylan Tate. That's exactly who it is, Callie. You got it. That's to 150. He was one of the, I think, the first first round pick. The first first round pick baseball pick uh, that graduated from uh, out of uh, Santa Barbara, that attended Santa Barbara. So, oh, yeah, that Andrew Vaughn will ship too, whoever has the White Sox. Yeah, see, it's hard to tell the difference when you're kind of breezing through these. But, yeah, all cards will ship in this Bowman's Best. But, yeah, Dylan Tate. First first round pick from UC Santa Barbara and then ended up doing not so well. But that was it was a surprise to me back in back whenever he was drafted. Cause I was just like I was like, hey. Uh, UC Santa Barbara is not a not a baseball school. Yeah, he he he's definitely I mean yeah, you can categorize him as a bust. I think he's been healthy. He has not like he's been injured. So he just hasn't been effective. So maybe he'll be a late bloomer, but I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Baseball's rough. That's why those values of whenever you get whenever we do like Bowman draft baseball. The value is uh, value is crazy on this. There's Brock Death Rage. Barry Zito went to UC Santa Barbara, but he wasn't a first round pick, right? See, I don't think Michael Young and Skip Schumacher were first round picks. Redemption is Brendan Rogers, best of 2019 autograph for the Rockies. That'll be for Ryan Redman. No, Josh Hamilton actually made it to the majors and you know was pretty pretty studly for a little bit. <laughs> Dylan Tate hasn't even made the majors yet. Mitch Keller, maybe my definition is different, but Josh Hamilton to me is not, not a bust. That's for Derek with the Mitch Keller. Mackenzie Gore to 250. Joey Bart die cut. JJ Blade back there is pretty good. Ooh, ooh. Told you some of these die cuts can be autographed. 35, 33 out of 50, Vlad Guerrero Jr. die cut. Autograph for the Blue Jays. Need to get the right top loader here. Uh, 
So that goes to Chris Walker and the Blue Jays. Nice. It's Josh Young. That's see that that's another. See, you can't really tell who the prospects are. That's like another Rangers prospect right there. Travis Swaggerty die cut. Ken Griffey Jr. and Nolan Gorman. Two boxes to go. I don't know. My definition of bust is like you got to be a first round pick. You know, or I guess in baseball, maybe you, you kind of reach a level where you're, where like Baseball America or something like that, Fangraphs has you, uh, has you ranked as like a top 10, top 50 prospect or something like that. And no injuries. Injuries doesn't count as bust for me. You know, so if you're just, if your body just fails you, I mean, that's not your, you know, it's not really his fault it's just genetics right so that if you're injuries that, that doesn't that doesn't say bust to me but you got to be at least somewhat highly touted you got to be uh, you know a top pick you know and if you're not a regular starter you know or we're putting in starters minutes i guess baseball you would at least want someone on your 25 man roster or is it 26 now somewhat regular starter at least a win above replacement of one <laughs> you know like that that I'm, I'm i'm fine with you know but if you don't make the majors yeah for basketball maybe you gotta be yeah greg odin doesn't count for me yeah because of because of injuries i mean that was just what are you gonna do he never should have been drafted that high to be honest with you but there's cj abrams that was the first mistake but not, I, I wouldn't call him bust. CJ Abrams, nice CJ Abrams for Chris Walker. A lot of these Vlad Guerrero Juniors, Justice Sheffield. And we got Braden Shoemake for the Braves. Chris Garosi with that one. Is Josh Young the no Rangers' number one prospect? I th he's up there. I'm not sure if if he is, but he's got to be. He's got to be up there. There's Kevin Biggio. Nice Blue Jays. Chris Walker having a great break. Darko, yes, I guess you would consider a uh, consider a bust, considering his draft position. I don't. I don't think he was. I don't think he was really. Battle like injuries, right? I don't, at least I don't think so. Future foundations to 50, Brock Death Rage and George Kirby. So, yeah, I don't, I, I mean, I, I think, and he played decently or played enough minutes, George Kirby for the Mariners, Darren Redding. So, he played and got enough regular minutes to really show what he has or doesn't has, have, as the case may be. So, All right, last box. Did Darko win a ring with the Pistons? I think he did. I think he was on that that Chauncey team that beat the Lakers. Nowadays in basketball, I feel like with so many kids who are either one and done, and soon that rule's going to go away, with so many kids either being one and done or um, or just coming out straight out of high school, 
into the NBA, you know, I think um, I think you got to give like NBA players, like incoming NBA players, like three or four seasons of seasoning before you can really identify them as busts or not, because they're just kind of learning on the job. Not everyone's like, not everyone can be like uh, <laughs> Luka Doncic. There's Michael Chavis, rookie auto for the Red Sox. Karen with the Bow Sox. Cody Bellinger to 99. Those autos keep sliding out of there. Christian Yelich. And Greg Jones for the Rays. That'll be for Matthew. Cody Hosey. Could be, could be future Justin Turner maybe in a few years. I'm going to go to my Dodgers. That'll be for TJ. TJ, who works for the AA Dodgers affiliate in Tulsa, may see this guy at some point in the next year or so. Nice to tease right here, Atomic. Those Atomics look pretty sharp. Franchise favorites. And a nice Hunter Green autograph. He's got a great auto. Red Legs, that'll be for Phil and the Reds, one of his last bought mojo teams. There's Chris Sale to 50. Oh, and there's a Cody Bellinger Atomic behind there. And there you go. That's the end. Eight box, pick your team 20, 2019 Bowman's Best Baseball in the books. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.